What is good with y'all boys, man, Ruth is DK, back here with another NBA 2K22 video. In today's video, we are going to be teaching beginners how to play this game. You may have came from Madden, maybe you came from MLB or FIFA or anything like that, and with like any new game, you don't know how to play, you don't know the controls, you don't know the secrets and stuff behind it, so you need someone to teach you. Hopefully, you guys let me be that guy and teach you what I know about this game. I know how hard it is because when I went and played MLB after playing for playing 2K for so long, it was difficult for me. And I really needed a breakdown on how to really do everything in that game. And, you know, videos really helped me. So hopefully I can help you guys. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notifications and like this video only if it helps you. If it don't help you, then leave a dislike. So when you're on your main menu, you want to go to play now whether you're on next or current gen everything should be pretty much the same so go to play now and then you're going to go to 2ku which is 2k university and they're going to teach you how to play the game you want to click on training game you pretty much practice while they teach you how to do stuff so that's what we're going to get into so the first thing that we're going to get into is shooting then we're going to make a different video for the dribbling for the passing pick and roll and defense we might touch base on post and free throws just a little bit but we want to touch with the main aspects of the game and depending on how long it takes we might put two in one video or we might just make own separate videos for each one so the first thing you're going to see when you do the shooting is the shot timing you can see on the left here left top is the shot meter there's two yellow squares, which the first one is slightly early. The second one is slightly late. There's a black line right in the middle, a teeny black line. That is the perfect or green release window. If you stop your shot meter right in that black window, it's going to be a green shot, which is 100% a make. If it's in either one of the yellow boxes, it could, it could still go in. It's just less likely to go in. And if it's before the yellow or after the yellow boxes, it's 100% going to be a miss. Now, we have Steph Curry here, which is one of the best shooters in the game. And as you can see, his shot meter, I'm trying to pull it up here. His yellow boxes are very big when he's on the three-point line because he can easily make a slightly early or a slightly late because he's Steph Curry. He has excellent shooting attributes. And he has great shooting badges, which allows him to make those shots that land in the yellows. Or it also allows him to make those green shots that much easier. So that's pretty much the shot meter. Now there's a thing, if you go to your options and you go to your controller settings, you can take the shot meter off. And what this does is that it allows a boost to your shot so without seeing the shot meter you pretty much just need to know the speed and where the top of the jump shot is for each player that you so Steph Curry we know he has a quick jump shot so I'm gonna pull up quick and it's gonna be a green release you do get a boost by not using a shot meter which I do use this method so as you can see I'm green in pretty much every shot because I know Steph's release and it's fairly easy to green a shot with Steph Curry because he's the best shooter in the game and in real life. So I would recommend to use shot meter while you're still learning. But as soon as you get the hang of it, don't hesitate to take the shot meter off and just go based off how the jump shot looks to you. Next thing about the jump shot, you can hold X to shoot and then release when you feel like you're in that green window or you can hold the right stick down and release it when you feel like you're in that window for green i never use the right stick to shoot just never felt comfortable to me some people use it some people don't some people use shot meter some people don't i use the x button because i feel like it's easier for me to time the jump shot now we're going to get into a normal layup now steph curry can't dunk so we ain't got to worry about dunking but what you're going to do is just drive in. You hold the right stick up for a normal layup. Or, or you just hold the X button and it also gets a normal layup. 
So same with the shot. You can use the right stick or you can use the X button. Steph can't dunk, so he's just going to do a layup every time. Now we got a runner or floater. You actually do have to use the right stick for the floaters. So when you drive in, just hold down the right stick and he's going to do a floater, which is good to do over big men and stuff like that. People that are going to block your shot, you just drive in. You throw a floater high over their head. I don't know why Steph faded away on that one. So let's come up the middle this time. Just a nice floater. You know Steph Curry has that in his bag. So he's going to be able to do that. Next, we have the reverse layup. So what you want to do is be along the baseline. If you don't know what the baseline is, it is the white line right here that Steph Curry is running along. Right here between the court and the black part. That is the baseline. So when you're driving baseline, you want to hold the right stick to the right while you're driving. So when you're driving in, hold the right stick to the right. He will do a reverse layup, which means he will start on one side and finish on the other use that rim as protection so you just come drive in start on one side of the rim okay you can't do a reverse layup if you're already on the other side you have to start this while you're on this side of the rim and let him reverse it now we're going to get into a euro step layup these are difficult i want to say they're honestly more difficult than previous years because you really have to tap you can't hold because he's not going to do it so you double tap X while driving and while holding the left stick towards the off hand. What off hand means is the hand the ball is not in. So if you're driving in like this with the ball in your right hand, you need to move that left stick over to your left hand after you double tap X. I know it's kind of difficult to put it all together. Just drive, double tap X. And I was holding turbo. That's why he spun instead of did a euro step. Let me get the ball back. Don't hold turbo when you do your euro step. And turbo is the right trigger. Don't hold turbo when you do a euro step or it's going to do a spin gather. So when you drive in, let go of turbo, double tap X, and do your euro step. You have to very lightly tap it. That's what I will say. And it's just it's that simple. Next, we're going to do a cradle layup. Um, it's nothing really different than a regular layup it's kind of just takes a little longer and might you know mess up your defenders timing on contesting the shot pretty much just double tap x while you're keeping the ball in your hand that the ball is in so complete opposite of a euro step so if you're driving with the right hand make sure the left sticks to the right and you double tap x and it should just do a cradle layup which kind of just slows the layup down a little bit Next, you want to do a two-hand dunk. I don't think Steph Curry is going to dunk for me. Right trigger in for turbo, and you move the left stick in any direction that you're driving, and you hold the right stick up while driving while you're in close range. So when you get into this red area, hold it up. Steph cannot dunk, so he's not going to dunk. I don't know why they picked Steph for the dunking tutorial, but whatever. So pretty much you just do what this says. It's, it's pretty simple for a two-handed dunk. You got a dominant or offhand dunk. You want to move the right stick up or left. Up left or right, sorry. So up left or right. And either way, that's, you know, whichever direction you put that right stick. That determines the dunking hand. Next is an aggressive skill dunk, which is also known as a showtime dunk, which boosts your takeover, depending on your badges and stuff like that. When you drive in, whichever direction you're going, it don't matter. Hold the right trigger for boost and just hold the right stick down. As you can see in your top left corner, I think it's Devin Booker there. There's a dunk meter this year on 2K22. You pretty much have to time your dunks. It's pretty much the same as a shot meter. They have two little boxes at the end. You want to try and get the meter to stop right in that area. And let me tell you, if you miss time your dunk, you are not going to make that dunk. So you really have to time your dunks this year if you want to do these aggressive skill dunks. You can still drive and hold X to dunk. It's not going to do an aggressive dunk, though. One of the easiest tutorials right here. You hold 
or you tap X to pump fake. So you get the ball, just tap X. He's gonna fake shoot it. He's gonna pump fake. Just tap X and then go wherever you wanna go. Boom, come out to the three point line, bang, bang. Pump fake, oh, now you wanna drive? Come on, drive, spin move, boom. Pump fake's really good to draw your defender, especially if you're Steph Curry. And say you gotta pass, hold on, let me shoot this. Say someone pass it to you right in the corner. Boom, pump fake your defender, they're gonna fall for it because if you're a good three point shooter, they're gonna fall for that. Now you're free to go wherever you want and get a wide open look. Hop gather, it's pretty much called a hop step in the basketball world. Um, you wanna use your right trigger and move. When it says move, that means left stick moving around the court. Um, hold down right, hold right stick down left to right, or you can tap X with left stick deflected left to right. I tap X. So pretty much you drive in, tap X. He's gonna just do a hop gather. He's gonna take a little hop step and I guess just do shoot it. I mean, there's not really much that Steph can do with the hop step. Kind of just hops, gets a little bit more space, catches the defender off guard. Um, it's a good move to do with the pump fake, to me. So you drive in, you tap X, you get your defender up in the air, and now you have a wide open layup. Next we have a spin gather. You're gonna drive in, double tap X, and finish your layup. So. Use that right stick, or I'm sorry, sorry, not the right stick. Use that right trigger, hold it down, drive in, double tap X. He's going to do a spin gather. He's going to do a spin move while picking the ball up. It's kind of like a triple tap X. I know it says double tap X, but you drive in, you double tap X to start the spin, and then you're going to hit X again to finish your layup. Now, I love using the spin gather to draw a pump fake, to draw my defender in the air. So when you're driving, most of the time when you start a shot, a defender is going to come up and try to block you. So when you hit that spin move, boom, they're up in the air right there. And while they're still up in the air, you're already coming in for a wide open layup. Now say they don't jump. Well, that's another good thing. You drive in, you double tap X. Now they jumped off the pump pick. They're still in the air. You come to the other side of the rim and you just do a wide open layup. It's a really good move to use. Half spin gather. I don't know why this is in the shooting section, but you just rotate the right stick in a quarter circle. Pretty much, you don't have to, it, it's kind of a useless move if I'm being honest with you. It, it don't really do much. Some people use it, some people don't. I don't use it. I honestly don't think it's very useful. Now we're going to do a step through at close range, pump fake, and then press and hold X or pump fake and move the right stick in any direction. So let me just shoot this real quick so I get the ball right here. I'm close range, I'm gonna pump fake and then you move and hold the right stick in any direction before the pump fake ends. So pump fake, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to, I need to get closer. Pump fake and step through. It's, it's kind of useless as well. I don't know, it's kind of useless to me. But it's a good move if, if you're a big man, I think. So that is gonna finish it for the shooting drills. Hopefully the video helped you out. If it did, make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, we're gonna get into the dribbling, passing, pick and roll, and defense next. So be looking out for those videos as well.